more jobs for construction workers, more jobs for teachers, more jobs for veterans, more jobs for young people. Yippee! President Obama says government will create jobs, and he wants all this new spending to do that. His Republican opponents say they oppose the extra spending, but they also say they'll create jobs, and they've done it before. We created one million jobs in the state of Texas. We added tens of thousands of jobs. When I was speaker, we added 11 million jobs. We became number one in job creation. As I watch the Republican debates and hear comments like that, I get annoyed. I think there's a candidate missing who I wish were there. He's a former governor who says, I did not create a single job while I was governor. And that's a funny thing to say when you're running for president. That former governor is here to explain now. Gary Johnson, for eight years you were governor of New Mexico and you did not create a single new job? Not one single job, no. Uh, government doesn't create jobs. And as a matter of fact, John, uh, there would have been 1,200 fewer state employees over an eight-year period while I was governor, something that had never happened before. But you have all these politicians saying, I'll create jobs. Why do you say what looks like a stupid thing to say for someone running for president? Well, you know, when it comes to the job creation data, arguably, I might have the best record on that. But uh, as I say now... But let me explain that before you move on, that, the, that this is true, that people have compared the records, the job growth in various states of all the people running for uh, president on the Republican ticket. And by some measure, it's different time periods. It's hard to compare it exactly. But New Mexico had the greatest job growth, you say, because you cut government. Since I controlled all the boards and commissions, rules and regulations got better on a daily basis. Common sense ruled the day. And because I vetoed legislation that was going to make uh, business uh, worse or, or make it more onerous for a lot of businesses, um, business went to bed at night knowing that the environment was not going to get any worse because I was going to be in there and I, I was going to allow that to pass. And you would veto bills, some 700 plus bills, and that ticked off your Republican legislature and the Democrats in particular. And then he would make statements I don't often hear politicians say like this. Man is superior to government and should remain master over it not the other way around. Voters in New Mexico seem to like that. He got reelected, but much of the political class didn't. Look at those angry, sour faces. Uh, you ticked off the political class in your state. I did tick off the political class, but I did get reelected in a state that was two to one Democrat. So I think the final arbiter, the voters, uh, decided that things were better, things were good. All right, New Mexico is two to one Democrat. Republican Arizona is right next door. They're both physically similar states. I think of them as deserts. And in the, in the 30s, the population of New Mexico was greater than that of Arizona. That's correct. And since then, the population of Arizona has doubled that of New Mexico. And really, it was a, di a political divergence, one of control uh, as opposed to uh, really more free market, uh, Arizona being the more free market. And Arizona said, hey, business, come in. We'll let you build. We'll let you do stuff. And New Mexico said, we want to control this environment. We want to protect people from bad doers. Uh, we want to make sure business contributes. Uh, we don't want any bad actors. And nobody wants bad actors. No one wants bad actors. But uh, the marketplace, I think, takes care of that better than any, anyone else. And since the 30s, the population of Arizona has grown so much, it's now about double that of New Mexico, which was bigger. That's correct. All right. Over the eight years you served, you cut 1,000 state government jobs. But still, there was 11% job growth in New Mexico. Yeah, how did that possibly happen? <laughs> I mean, this is what I would always say. Government doesn't create jobs. Um, I think I contributed to a, uh, an environment where uh, there was certainty. And when there's certainty, I think uh, jobs uh, come about as a result of that. So you weren't in the last debate, but you did tweet, I noticed, um, during the debate. I would cut the president's budget by 43 percent, ground Air Force One. 
Lead by example. Which... He doesn't need a plane to fly around. He's the president. I think a plane is. I think the president needs a plane. But does it need to be the 747? Have you ever been in a city where the president of the United States comes and visits? Uh, that city becomes snarled. There ought to be a better way to do that. Republicans like the border fence. You tweeted a border fence would be a waste of money. An absolute waste of money. Let's not build a fence. There are much more cost-effective ways of dealing with the issues around the border. Do you ever think you're too laid back to be high in the polls? I mean, I, I watch these other guys, and they're all talking like this all the time, and, and you're sort of loosey-goosey here. Well, the, the, you can't change who you, you know, your no, style. You no, can't, you can't change who you are, and shouldn't the results speak louder than, than anything else? Thank you, Gary Johnson, former governor of New Mexico. Later in the program, Governor Walker of Wisconsin weighs in. But first, a debate with one of those people who says government create jobs. And he really believes it.